WSU faculty, faculty Senate made clear this week they are not on board with a plan to move university funds to the athletic department, addressing a growing deficit. Murrow News 8 reporter Andrew Bartline reports on the disconnect between the two groups. Dr. Walden takes WSU's land-grant mission seriously. Teaching, research, and outreach. And while administration is offering athletics up to $3 million. Athletics is not part of our mission. Walden chairs the faculty committee that's pushing back. What we are interested in is supporting a self-sustaining athletics department. But others say it's not that simple. 90% of Division I at collegiate athletics programs need some kind of support from their institution. What else could you do with it? What else could you have invested it in? It's hard to do research in a lab from the 1950s. Weiler says athletics started the fiscal year owing 84 million. Pre-COVID projections have it reaching 123 million before balancing costs with revenue. This seems like a very small band-aid for a very big wound. Weiler tells me there's four prongs to settle this debt and it starts with the football operations building and Martin's shiny new press box. They're not paid off till 2039, but athletics wants to refinance at a lower rate. Increasing revenue, a subsidized budget and reduced spending are the other three, but their own projections show spending increases every year. So why subsidize the arms race? Athletics provides an exposure to Washington State University statewide and nationwide in a way that other programs really don't. It's assumed the return on investment comes through enrollment, but the faculty committee and President Scholes say there's no data at WSU to support that claim, citing a study by UCLA. And the identity of Cougar Nation is important to the students, but a student and their family wants the best education for the dollar. The Board of Regents votes on the funding later this spring. If approved, Weiler says the funding kicks in July of 2023. Andrew Bartline, Murrow News 8.